view of the spreadsheet, over on this side are all the masses. And if you scroll down far enough, you'll see that some are unstable. I didn't bother to put them in. You're welcome to add them if you want. You'll notice here when you click on a mass um, for boron, you see up here that name is B instead of the traditional B6 is that. So all these are named. The only difference is C. You can't name a cell C, so I had to name this one CC. And there's a note to remind you of that. So if I want to do a calculation, let's say sodium chloride real quick. I'm just going to go equals Na plus Cl. If you could do a times two if you had something that was times two. And there's my molar mass right there. And if I want to figure out my percent composition, type in all the substances there that are in it. And then equals Na divided by that. And equals Cl divided by the total. And I have one more down here that just kind of a double check to make sure you should get 100% there. That tells you you did all your formulas here correct. For example, if I had done times two, um, I get 139%. I know I did something wrong in one of my formulas. So I just undo that. And we're done. That's all there is to it.